Nomai haere mai, and welcome to my Monday poem. Today I'm going to read a poem by Ivy Olive Gibbs, who was a trans-Tasman poet and a children's writer. She was most likely born in the United Kingdom about 1886. She lived predominantly in New Zealand, and her work was widely published in New Zealand between the late 1920s up to about 1941. She died in Auckland in 1966. The poem I've chosen is called The Thrush, and it was published in Kofi Gold, an anthology of contemporary New Zealand verse, 1930. The Thrush. I heard a thrush in a bright tree it sang with poignant ecstasy. It sang of English fields I've seen, oft in my dreams, dew-pearled and green, of primroses and daffodils that light the fragrant vales and hills. It sang of little dreaming towns tucked neath smooth, undulating downs, of little cobbled streets that creep around about them, red and steep. It sang of houses, small and thatched, with open doors and gates unlatched, of English hearths and fireside nooks, with shelves of well-thumbed, well-loved books. It sang of bells, insistent, sweet, that bring good folk on quiet feet to church each peaceful Sabbath day, to worship God in their own way. It sang of snow that softly lights the countryside on winter nights. So sweet and strange to me it seemed, though long and often I have dreamed of England, through a songbird's power really to roam one lovely hour, through English lanes or English hills, lit up with golden daffodils. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.